Okay, let's just talk about the great big elephants in the room. Right here, right here. I didn't cover up my zits today. I didn't cover my under eye bags today. I'm looking in the viewfinder. I look a little crazy right now because today I'm going to be testing out a drugstore concealer, comparing it to a designer concealer to see which one fares better. So for my drugstore, <laughs> so for my drugstore concealer today, I'm going to be testing out the new ColourPop No Filter Concealer. Now this is one of the first, no this is the first concealer that ColourPop's made besides there's little concealing sticks that I think they used to sell as a contour highlighting duo that I personally just wasn't a fan of. It definitely didn't cover up anything like this monster right here. So this is their first concealer and I'm so excited to try it out. ColourPop is one of my all time favorite brands for affordable buys. And of course, I'll be testing it out against the Tarte Shape Tape, which has been my go-to concealer all of 2017. It's my absolute favorite. I used to think that I wasn't picky about concealers. I would just grab the first one that came to me in Sephora or the drugstore, wherever I was shopping, until I met Shape Tape. And I know that if you watch YouTube videos, you know that this is just everyone's favorite right now, so I'll be putting it to the test against ColourPop. So what I'm going to be doing today is doing this side of my face with the ColourPop concealer and then this side of the face with the Tarte concealer and seeing how they work. I already know how the Tarte concealer works, however this is the first time using the ColourPop one. It's still in the packaging, haven't even swatched it yet, so it's going to be a first impression as well. So let's get started. So this side of the face, I'll be using the ColourPop concealer. Obviously, this concealer has a bit more work cut out for it because it also has to cover these zits. So before we get started, I'm going to go on the ColourPop website and see what they say about this concealer to see if it stands up to the test. Our lightweight, creamy concealer was formulated with soft blurring pigments to give you a crease-proof matte finish. No filter needed. Cute name, I like it. I don't think they're the first brand to do the no filter thing, but it's it's cute. So here it is, here's the packaging. I'm not a huge fan of white caps because I find that I get concealer all over them. Okay, so I like the color so far. I think it's definitely my color. I bought shade Fair Neutral because that's what's closest to um, my shade in the Tarte Shape Tape. Okay, this is blending really well. I'm using the new Marble Beauty Blender. I just picked it up. Okay, it's definitely a good concealer, especially for the price of it. So this is definitely a lot of coverage so far that I'm looking at here. It's blended very, very nicely. However, I can still see a bit of my bag. It's not like the Tarte Shape Tape where it absolutely erases everything. So I'm going to go in with a second layer. I'm always interested to see how products layer. Sometimes when you start to layer products, it'll strip off the layer underneath. You definitely need a second layer. I can see here that my bags have completely been, well, almost erased. There's definitely looking at a side to side comparison of my face right now with the concealer under the eyes versus no concealer under the eyes. It makes a huge difference. So let's go into a couple other areas that I usually conceal. And let's just get that zit right out of the way. I always like to go under my nose a little bit to hide any redness as well. Oh. 
Okay, so definitely for areas like my chin here where there's nothing I really need to cover, it does a great job. However, on my zit here, I'm not thrilled with how it concealed. I feel like the concealer is not blending super well over the blemish like how it did just under the eyes. And it blended quite well around the nose area. Yeah, the only area or the only area that I'm unhappy with with this concealer is the zit. I find that it covered up other areas of my face really, really well um, besides this little blemish right here. However, after I'm done with the tart side, I'll go back in with a powder and see how it looks. So this concealer right here, $6, definitely for $6, it's holding up really nicely so far. One thing I just have to say in the middle of filming is the lid doesn't go in quite well. I don't know if I just have a weird one or not, but I find that I really need to just push that lid so it clicks in. Um, so yeah, if you're buying this, make sure that you um, get the lid fully in or else if your lid's not in, the concealer will go bad quite quickly. On the other side of my face, I'll be using my tried and true Tarte Shape Tape. This retails for $25 and it's available on Ulta and the Tarte websites, which I wish was available in Sephora. It would make my life a lot, a lot, a lot easier. And so I'm using the shade Fair Neutral. This is what I based the ColourPop shade off of. It was kind of a stab in the dark, but it seems to have matched quite well. I usually like my concealer to be a bit lighter than the rest of my face, just for a highlighting effect. I love opening a new shape tape. I find the Tarte Shape Tape dries down quite quickly, so instead of concealing everywhere on my face, I do it in different patches so that I make sure it doesn't dry down completely. I'm seeing a bit of a difference so far, but I'm going to finish the rest of my face before I come to any final thoughts. Okay, so here's a side by side comparison. This side is the ColourPop and this side is the Tarte Shape Tape. So I'm gonna put on a little bit of uh, some bottom mascara, fix my wings, look a little less crazy, complete this makeup look, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I realized that as I was finishing on my eye look, I forgot to tell you what the Tarte Shape Tape claims it does on its website. So the Tarte Shape Tape is a best-selling, full coverage, vegan, blendable concealer that instantly brightens, smooths, and shapes skin. Definitely does that. I think I have to say that it's by far my favorite concealer still, but let's break down some pros and the cons of both. I also set both sides of my face with the new Kat Von D Locket Setting Powder. I find that it's a really lightweight, full coverage powder that I think really evened out both sides of my face. So here's the deal. The Tarte Shape Tape is a $25 concealer. The ColourPop is a $6 concealer. I definitely would say that the Tarte Shape Tape is still my favorite. I think that it's a lot creamier, it's a lot more blendable, and again, to get the same look, I only had to do one layer. However, there is a big price difference. For the Tarte Shape Tape, because I'm Canadian, I need to order it online. Now, the same is true for the ColourPop for now. However, it's recently been announced that ColourPop will be in stores at Sephora soon. So this concealer might be more accessible to those of us who can't get the Shape Tape because we're Canadians or a ver variety of other reasons. There's of course also the cost difference between the two. Spending $25 for a concealer, especially one that I run out of about every one and a half to two months, is pretty pricey. Uh, it's definitely a makeup item that I wish I didn't have to buy so often, especially because of the price. 
So if you're a Tarte Shape Tape fanatic and you're looking for alternatives, I definitely say that this ColourPop one is. Yes, right away when I just did the one layer, it didn't give me that same full coverage look that I was expecting. However, after two layers, I think I almost got there. Sure, it's not as perfect, but it's definitely a really good, cheaper dupe. So I'll definitely continue to use this concealer. I think it'll also be great for days where you don't want to do a full coverage look. If you just want to put on a little bit of concealer, a little bit of lip gloss, go to the beach, that type of deal, then I think this concealer is great. One of my biggest drawbacks actually personally for the Tarte Shape Tape is when I want to do a very minimal makeup look, I can't use just the Shape Tape. I find that I have to use a little bit of foundation as well, otherwise just using the concealer I look a little bit crazy so on my own time I'm sure that I'll test how the ColourPop concealer works without any foundation on and of course I'll leave what foundation I'm using what primer I'm using all of that down in the description box below so that you know how it works with the products that are already on my face of course I find that some concealers don't work well with some um, foundations primers etc so on my face today, I used a lot of my go-to products. I used my Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation, and I used my Yves Saint Laurent Touch Eclat, Eclats, that one, the gold flake one, primer, um, which are my go-to products. So obviously different concealers work and mix well with different foundations. I know, for example, even the Tarte Shape Tape doesn't work well with every single foundation that I've tried. So um, both of them worked really well with my go-tos, which is great. Um, so yeah, my final thoughts are is the ColourPop isn't as perfect as the Tarte Shape Tape. However, it definitely has its pros. If you're on a budget or if you're more of a low maintenance, no makeup type of girl, or just if you want their stays once in a while, I mean, I'm so extra and I know that sometimes I can't always go out with fake eyelashes and a hundred different products on and spend two hours on my makeup. Sometimes I need to just run out of the house and I think on those days, I don't mind spending $6 on a product that's low maintenance and will give me that look. So the two are definitely different products, um, but both of them work really well and are great dupes for each other. Thanks for watching. I want to be doing more of these products where I compare high-end cult favorites to um, low-priced drugstore dupes. So let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see more videos like that. Thanks for watching.